How's it going people? A few weeks ago I was invited by Technosport BMW to their launch party for their new initiative. They're in the process of building race cars that customers can drive and learn to race in. The whole idea is that you do your whole sort of licenses and all that kind of stuff related to racing in these cars and they manage all of the racing side of it including sort of turning up to the events with the cars and a huge rig which we'll see in a sec, bringing the cars along, maintaining the cars etc. So all you have to do is focus on the driving side of things. It's one of my dad's friends companies so I thought it'd be great for me to go down and have a look and maybe show you guys the cars because they are insane so if you like e46 m3 race cars that put out about 450 brake horsepower this is definitely the video for you i did actually kind of record this like a vlog but then realized that most of the footage was rubbish because of the air conditioning both on the train on the way there where i did my intro and also the aircon when i got there i was literally recording next to an aircon unit why was i doing that I wanted to say another major thank you. In my last video, I thanked you for 200 subscribers and I'm now on over 400 subscribers, which is super cool. Hope we'll be at 500 pretty soon, which is, again, amazing. Like, thanks for all the support, all the great comments, all that kind of stuff, and the constructive criticism as well. It all means a lot and I'm really gonna try and grow this channel and create even better content as I go forward. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff to keep supporting the channel, share it with your friends, and without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So Technosport BMW drove this massive lorry down the North Circular Road through central London to this street behind the Ritz Hotel to show the cars off to the public as well as a corporate event. As if the cars weren't ridiculous enough, check out this race lorry kitted out with space for two cars as well as a workshop and meeting room. Imagine rocking up to Brands Hatch or Silverstone and chilling for a day in this. Such a cool experience. Also, super sick how the car lift works to bring the two cars down from above the living space. Anyway, back to the cars. The spec on these race cars is insane. They're built on E46 M3 chassis and are made specifically for endurance racing, but customers lucky enough to drive them would be using them for tuition purposes, basically learning how to race. Weight savings have been a key part of the builds. Obviously, the cars are completely stripped out, but in terms of materials, the doors, floors, wings, seat, and air intake are all carbon fiber, while the windows are polycarbonate and the front splitter is made of wood. Having a wooden front splitter is almost standard practice now as it's relatively light and much cheaper to replace than carbon fiber, and that huge carbon fiber air intake is a thing of beauty. It's so big that the radiator has to be put at an angle in order to fit it in. For the sake of handling and braking, the car is fully roll caged with race suspension, AP racing, brake calipers and the option for bias braking depending on how best to set up the car. Just in front of those AP brakes it's the BBS rims which are covered in proper racing rubbers for maximum traction. Inside the car it's a similar story. I mentioned the cage and carbon Corbo racing seat but in addition to this there is an OMP racing steering wheel with all the buttons you would expect in a racing car of this caliber and a digital dashboard by 2D to provide all the relevant telemetry while out on the track. No flappy paddles on this car either. It uses a six speed sequential gearbox operated by the stick instead of paddles. In the words of Technosport BMW's owner, it gives you something to do. The sequential box works on a flat shift system, so other than when pulling off the start line, you don't need to press the clutch pedal, just pull that stick back and you're on your way, and probably very quickly. Under the bonnet, alongside that air intake I mentioned, the engine puts out around 440 to 450 brake horsepower, and finished versions of the engine have this insane exhaust manifold, some of the most beautiful metalwork you can imagine, and probably adds to the incredible sound for the car. Other cool features of these race cars include the Dash 32 air-equipped fittings that allow the car to be refueled using the same system F1 cars used to use. Fuel gets literally dumped directly into the 130 litre fuel tank, allowing for faster pit stops. On top of this, the cars come equipped with air jacks, so you can hook the car up to an airline and it lifts it off the floor to allow for quick and easy repairs. With a bit of fuel in the car, it weighs in at around 1,100 kilograms, and considering it puts at around 440 brake horsepower, it's going to absolutely tear along. Not much more to say about the cars really, so here's some B-roll.
here we are again back in my bedroom i just wanted to say thank you very much for watching obviously those cars are insane i hope you like them as much as i did i'll leave a link in the description down below to the technosport website where you can have a look around they actually do servicing of bmw as well they're bmw specialists so you can get your bimmer completely redone etc by them major thanks to george for inviting me it was a super cool opportunity to have a look at the cars and and sort of see the the business that he's growing and all that kind of stuff Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Listen.